So today I'm going to be showing you how to mix surround sound audio using only a pair of headphones and one magical plugin that makes it all possible. It'll definitely cost you less than getting yourself a, you know, surround sound setup, you know, whether that's five speakers, seven speakers, you know, and, you know, if you get into the point, uh, point one, point four, you know, then it's like four additional speakers and like, yeah, very expensive setups. You need an audio interface that can, you know, support that. Uh, you obviously going to have to get your room acoustically treated and the speakers are going to have to be uh, adjusted, you know, using, you know, instruments that, you know, measure distance, you know, and it's very, not only is it very complicated, but it's also very expensive. But with this plugin, which is Dear VR Monitor, you just need this plugin and a pair of headphones and ideally a very good pair of headphones. I'm using the by uh, the Bayer Dynamic uh, DT770 Pros, and as you can see, I just opened up a headphone compensation module, and you got lots of headphones in here that are like officially supported, and yeah, so this is basically gonna make sure that this plugin is optimized for your specific uh, set of headphones. And um, let let me just you know start by explaining what actually this plugin does and at its very basic form it, it is just a binaural mix of whatever your DAW is going to be putting out so what well, even if it's stereo but in this case i have my session set up for 5.1 it this plugin will be mixing it down to binaural so binaural is still technically like you know it's not stereo but it, it you know it's like you know it works with two channels so your left and right channels but using algorithms it will actually you know create the uh, simulation okay that you're in a 360 uh you know space you know like acoustic environment so in this case, this is not only a combination of that, you know, so this is like, you know, like just like binaural, you know, audio. So like if you're familiar with the binaural panner and logic, you've probably already experimented. It's very similar. It's almost exactly the same thing, except that, you know, your actual mix is going to be 5.1. You're just monitoring it like if it was binaural. But this is also combining impulse responses so you can simulate not only like you know a speaker configuration and let me just show you like all the possible speaker configurations they're not all available right now because of the session you know for what it's set up for which like i said is 5.4 5.1 itu but you can go up to 13.1 surround sound setups so this plugin is massive it can do it can do pretty much anything. All the standards for surround sound are in here. But like I said, the impulse responses are also very interesting because now you can basically mix with a pair of headphones in any acoustical space that uh, you could possibly imagine or could possibly ever need. So, you know, from cinemas to, you know, kitchens, apparently you can simulate what your mix would sound like uh, always with a pair of headphones in all of these different spaces and if you know like you understand headphones and how they work the major problem with headphones is they don't have sound stage so you know even open back headphones don't actually have the ability to reproduce the sound of like you know sound traveling in a room so these impulse responses will actually do that and you'll basically get to hear your mix as if, you know, it's still going to be simulating that binaural 360 space, even in stereo. And you're going to be like in the room. So it's like virtual reality mixing. And this is this is very much next level stuff. And it will allow you from a bedroom or a home recording studio or whatever to mix for pretty much any venue in any speaker configuration 
on a budget. So that's really cool. Like, for example, if you're mixing a short film, uh, you know, obviously it doesn't have much budget. You might even be doing it for free. And you definitely don't have like exactly you don't have the budget to go out and get, you know, 5.1 set up and, you know, like get the room treated properly because, you know, if the room is not treated and the speakers are not configured properly, you're not even going to get an accurate mix, which is dangerous territory, you know, <laughs> like so this just does it all for you. So that's really cool right out of the box. So we pretty much went through all the different modules except for the head rotation module, which is actually, I haven't really figured this one out yet. Uh, apparently there's like a head tracking uh, mechanism. I'm pretty sure that would only work with a VR headset though. And it would basically track your movements. So you would actually be in the space, you know, and depending on how you move your head, you know, it would be linked to this parameter and, you know, you can actually literally be in the space, you know but it's actually not that important, believe it or not. So for now, we're just going to get into the actual demonstration. So I put together a little example here and we're going to hear it, you know, with the plugin and without. So you hear that it's actually, you know, making this possible and it's not just, you know, a hoax or a hallucination or something like that. <laughs> so uh, let's just go ahead and listen to that and if you're not wearing headphones or earbuds or whatever like you need to otherwise you won't hear you're not going to be able to hear this with your smartphone speaker or with speaker monitors you absolutely need headphones like it's not just because it's more affordable it's because you actually need headphones for binaural audio so let's listen to this if you're ready left front center front right front right rear left rear all right now let's listen to it without left front right front right rear left rear well, there you have it. So you see, we even lose the center channel because of that. And uh, I guess I might as well take this opportunity to show you guys what, you know, mixing and surround looks like in Logic. So what's cool with Logic is that it has its own um, surround sound panner. It's very similar to the binaural panner that's integrated with it, you know, that's been recently integrated into it. And the way that you get access to this is you go in your mixer and you know where it says output. So you just actually route it instead of like your stereo output, you're going to have surround. And uh, yeah, so we can get more into the details of that in the future videos. So if you guys are interested, you know, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll make more videos about surround sound uh, mixing and all of that good stuff. But for now, like you see, you have basically like, you know, so I muted, you know, like for each one and you can, you know, move this around and stuff. Um, so you have a lot of uh, control and, um, you know, flexibility with that. Your LFE level over here, it's cool. Uh, this is basically your subwoofer channel. So you don't need to create another track just for your subwoofer. You can mix each track, you know, and you can decide how much of it gets sent to the sub. So that's pretty cool. But once again, we're not going to get too much into that today. I just want to show you maybe one of the configure, you know, one of the impulse responses. And we're going to do cinema, right? 5.1. We're mixing most likely for, you know, this to be heard in a movie theater. So uh, I'm going to leave timestamps. So if you want to compare what it sounded like before to what it sounded like now, you can just go ahead and switch back and forth. So this is what it would sound like in a cinema. Left, front, center, front, right, front, right, rear, left, rear. So yeah, to my ears, like, you know, it's pretty convincing, like it's pretty damn convincing. And this is going to like give you 
a much better set of ears when you're mixing. So like, like I said, this is not just for surround sound audio. This is also for just mixing anything in stereo. Like even if you're doing music, you know, which you most likely are, if you're uh, watching this and, um, this, you know, this channel, cause we do a lot of music production stuff too, but you know, like you have, like, basically if you know, you're going to be mixed, like you're doing an EDM track and you know, you know, it's going to be played in a large club. Cause like, so you do that and then you want to hear what the bass, how it's going to project in that kind of space, you know, cause you can't hear that with headphones. Once again, here headphones don't have sound stage. So the only way you're going to be able to simulate that, you know, unless you were actually mixing at the venue where the music was going to be, you know, played is with this plugin. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, it actually makes a difference. I'm telling you, you're, you might, you might even be, you might even want to make different mixes depending on, uh, how many different venues you think your tracks are going to be played in, or, you know, so you can make like a, a, a large club mix. You could make a, you know, like a default mix. Like you can really make like a bunch of different mixes that compensate, you know, for different, uh, acoustic environments and that's going to take your mixing and mastering to the next level and you're going to be able to deliver much more professional results using just a pair of headphones and you can be in your bedroom you know you can have a bedroom studio you could have a professional home recording studio and you can still put out the same quality of mixes and masters as like a professional commercial recording studio you know, there's nothing that's going to be stopping you at this point. So I definitely recommend checking out Deer VR monitor. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by them. I bought this with my own, uh, money. Uh, maybe this video is going to be a way for me to be, to get sponsored eventually by them. Who, who knows? That'd be really great. I, I really love this company. They, you know, they really put out great plugins and, uh, this one is like an essential for me now. I will not, I will never put out a mix or a master without putting it through this first. So, um, make sure to get it on sale. It's, you know, like right now on sale. So don't miss out on that. And even if you do completely worth it, even at the not sale price, but yeah, if you have any questions, comments or whatever, you want to start a discussion that's going to happen down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.